<laughs> and as we said, March is Nutrition Month, so we have our resident nutritionist, uh, just guy of all things fitness, <laughs> Anthony Cheen with us. Oh, hey, awesome. Anthony. Thank you for having me back. I'm so blessed and honored to be back and share my wisdom, my passion for nutrition, for health, for vitality. So I'm here to share. Thank okay, you for having so, me. So we asked what was <laughs> in our friends' fridges at home. What's in your fridge, Anthony? Vegetables, organic foods, and spinach, and all the colors of the rainbow, right? <laughs> You know, kale, kale exactly. I got, I, got, I got a huge supplement <laughs> bin and all this other oh. stuff. It's great. Yeah, that's how I have so much energy, right? Yeah. To share and to care. Because when I take care of myself, I take care of my family, my friends, my wife, mm. my children, uh, what I really care about. So it's all about taking care of you first so you can serve your community better. So, yeah. yeah, yeah so definitely. today you're talking about oxygen and water. Oh. So what are these two things? Oxygen and water. Okay, so the question I have for you ladies is this. How long can you survive without food? Never. Weeks. Weeks? Months? Really? Oh, yeah. months. Survival Jesus survive. did it for 40 we'll days, survive, right? Not die. I'm Never. Right, right, right? So we I have got a case of food right over there. You no. got it. You got it. And most people focus on, okay, when people talk about health and fitness and vitality, they talk about exercise and diet. Eh, wrong answer. They should be focusing on what I'm about to talk about. Now, the second thing is, how long can you survive without water? Mm, Three, four days, days. maybe, yeah. right? Probably. How long can you survive without oxygen? Never. Ne Minutes yeah, before brain damage, yeah, right? Exactly. Oh. So the first thing your body needs is oxygen, ample amounts of oxygen. And in our body, we, our blood has a pump called our heart. In our bodies, there's something called the lymphatic system, which basically cleanses our body of all the toxins, but it does not have a pump. In order to activate the lymphatic system that releases and cleanses our body of, of our toxins, we need to breathe deeply in our stomach diaphragmatically through deep diaphragmatic breathing. Now, one of the ways you can do that is something called a 1-4-2 ratio of breathing. And you can do this anywhere, in okay. your car, upon waking, before you go to sleep. Subway. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. You got it, exactly. <laughs> Why are you, I, I, oftentimes I'll do that at a stoplight while I'm driving, and it'll, it'll kind of trigger me to actually do it. So oftentimes what I'll do is what you do is this. You breathe in, so let's say for a count of five, okay. you hold for four times times as your inhale, which is 20 seconds, exhale for twice as long as your inhale. So you go hold, breathe in for five, hold for 20, exhale for 10. If you can breathe in for 10, hold for 40, exhale for 20. For 40, I know, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just using wow. that as an example. So you do that four or five times, and I promise you, all of a sudden you feel this energy burst, and then you add the element of water on top of that. You drink, they, they basically a good rule of thumb is take your body weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces you should be taking. So if you're 200 pounds, divided by two is 100 ounces, that's how much water you should be taking in. Our earth is 70% water, our bodies are 70% water, so we should be drinking a lot of water-rich foods or drinking what a lot if, of water. What if you just don't like the taste of I know, I hear. So, that, so you can have what it in smoothies. Have any taste? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing to taste. Well, here, here's one thing that I do, that, here's a practice I do in the morning. This is what I do, no joke, yeah. no joke. I literally say thank you for another day to get up. I go downstairs, I take a huge glass of water and I say thank you to the water. I drink it and as I'm, I drink it and then this is what I do is something called power breathing this is oxygen so what I do is I put my hands up and I go and I do it like 50 times in a row eyes closed and I breathe deeply fast and hard I do that 50 times all of a sudden I am charged like you wouldn't believe. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take on my day. Ready to conquer my world. Kick butt and take names. Wow. You know. So I so actually have yeah. an app on my watch that mm -hmm. will register if I'm not breathing because I find I hold my breath a lot. Yes, you got. And so uh, it will say. Yes. It will tell me to breathe. Yes. What? And it will actually do one of those exercises yes. with me and allow Good. me to breathe. Good. Fantastic. Because I find I hold my breath. Yes. Often. And when you're stressed too, what happens? Yes. You tighten up. So just breathing deeply relaxes your body, relaxes your mind, because the mind and body are connected. So what you do with the body will affect the mind. So okay, so, yeah. so eight glasses of water. Eight to is ten good? glasses of water. Okay. And what? And you know what? Can you put a little flavor in there. Yeah, a little bit. They have they actually have those yeah. drops, those flavored drops yeah. now. But you know, a lot of the times you don't have to drink water. Water. What you can do is get your water from smoothies or from freshly squeezed mm. juices, from salads. Yeah, water, wet melon is ninety percent water. So you can yeah. drink, you know eat a lot of watermelon. Good for you too. Good for your body. And so eating a lot of water-rich foods actually actually adds to the water consumption in your body. And you know what, when I started eating more plant-based foods, oxygen, water, my energy went through the roof. Wow. Like sustainable energy. So your, your, your health and vitality program should start with deep diaphragmatic breathing, water in the morning, water throughout the day, water rich foods. I promise your, your energy is gonna soar like you wouldn't believe. You it's, know what, I amazing. learned so much from you yeah. today because when you think about like oxygen, you think about your cardio. So yeah. I think, okay, I gotta do more yeah. aerobic kind of exercise yeah. that'll get my oxygen up. Yeah. But you're showing us a completely different way to do it. It's 100%. not either or, right? And, and Anybody well can do as. it anywhere. Like if you think about athletes, uh, there was a study done I think 20 or 30 years ago and they discovered that athletes, one out of seven athletes get cancer. One out of three people get cancer. 
Mm. One of seven. That's a, that's a big difference. Mm. And a lot of I, my theory, my mind was, well, they're, they're, they're putting so much demand on their body and oxygen has a lot to do with it. Mm. And I can tell you there's one study that they actually did with rats where, they, where they, they minimized the oxygen for these rats and they started to develop diseases. And then they introduced the oxygen levels to 100% and all of a sudden the diseases went away. Wow. So oxygen has a lot to do not just with energy, but vitality, immune system goes up. Your body, your, everything is, is being basically filtered through your body. So you got to breathe in the oxygen. It's, it's a gift, right, that God gives us, right? All right. Might as well breathe I it in. People Take watching it in. right now ought to have an assignment. Well, yeah, I think <laughs> yeah. you should do it right now yeah, as a... you stay with us. Thanks again, you Anthony. Got Let's My breathe pleasure. in. My pleasure. <sighs> <laughs> stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>